Empress Kena show. Today we're gonna go over the Zodiac signs as sister sister characters. As you guys know, Sister Sister actually made its debut on Netflix not too long ago. And if you're like me and you grew up in the 90s or the early 2000s, then Sister Sister had to have been a show that you watched regularly. And if not, perhaps you're Caucasian. No, I'm just kidding. Honestly, I think white people watch Sister Sister too. I'm literally just making a joke out. Not racist. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into the material. Okay, so we're gonna start off with Tia and Tamara. Now I get it that they're twins, so technically they're the same sign, but just flow with me and work with me. For Tia, very studious, a perfectionist, an overachiever. I'll just be over here studying. She's always gotten the good grades, making things organized. So I chose Tia to be a Virgo. If you know any Virgos, they're very detail oriented. Work a holic. They have to work until it's perfect, until they can get it right. They're always trying to chase after this perfectness. Bam, bam, da da da, slide, snap. <laughs> But it really does make them successful. And they really are hard workers too. Tamara. So Tamara is the opposite of Tia. A lot more easy going, laid back, real fun, kind of irresponsible. Very headstrong though. It don't matter who it is. She'll argue with her boyfriend. She'll argue with her daddy, with her sister. It don't matter. She gonna argue with anybody if she believes that that's right. You got a funny way of showing it. Well, that's only because I know how good you can be. Well, then why didn't you say that? Because you argue with everything I say. I do not. You do too. <laughs> You're doing it now. I chose Tamara to be none other than the almighty Aries. I see so much of myself in Tamara because I really can be very irresponsible, I will admit to that, but very impulsive and fun. Like, I literally get the party going, and I feel like that's how Tamara is. Tamara gets the party going, and that's how Aries are. But they do make irrational decisions off impulse. <laughs> Often. They just do. That's how Tamara is. She just take action on stuff and don't necessarily think things through until after the fact. And then she be like, "See you, help me." Lisa is next. Honestly, bro, me rewatching this series is so nostalgic for me. And I really was cracking up laughing so much. And Lisa, honestly, is probably my favorite character. She really is the person that ties the whole show together. To me. She adds so much character. She really gives you that feel of a black mom. It just really makes you relate to the show. She's super loud, super extra, so fun. Did I say she was loud? She's really loud. Very passionate, very caring, very loyal. A little bit on the aggressive side. Sometimes you might want to watch out like, damn, Lisa, chill, relax. A very strong-willed woman. So I chose her to be none other than the Leo. The almighty lion and king and queen of the jungle. Honestly, Leo are probably one of the strongest signs in the Zodiac. And I really do feel like that's how Lisa is. She was one of the strongest characters on the show, strongest actors on the show. Like, she is the person that made the show what it was, in my opinion. You know, she can be very loud and noisy and attention-seeking, just like Leo's. And everything that's mine! So Ray is a little bit of a, you know, cross your T's and dot your I's, a little bit uptight sometimes. But he's always giving such great fatherly advice. He's a very great father figure. It's time that you took your life back. Because if there's anybody who deserves happiness in this world, it's you. Very balanced, always wants people to see both sides of the spectrum. Let's look at both options here. He's very refined and likes the finer things in life. So I chose him to be a Libra because Libras always, always are about keeping the peace, maintaining balance. You know, I was just telling the girls that looks aren't everything. <laughs> That's cute, Ray. Lisa doing too much, he gonna balance her out and bring her back down. Libras are very diplomatic people. They believe in justice and they believe in equality. Victor, yes. If y'all didn't know, Victor, who plays the one that Lisa marries, is actually married to Mama Knows, yes, Richard Lawson. And if you also didn't know, Rhonda, we're gonna get to her in a second. Bianca Lawson, the one that literally never ages. She's in Save Last Dance. She was in Pretty Little Liars. She's been in so many different teenage shows since like 1995. How are you a teenager in 2020 and also a teenager in 1995 like what's going on but anyway that's Richard Lawson's daughter but Victor very sweet very caring very loving he really just came in the show and just showed Lisa so much love just kind of wore his heart on his sleeve and bare his soul to her he was a little bit on the sensitive side so I chose Victor to be a Pisces they are very caring and loving people but they can be a little bit sensitive and emotional so they kind of get a little into themselves when things are a little bit too much for them. that's why when Lisa was acting real Leo like you know doing too much he was just like I don't really know this. I don't know. It kind of scares the Pisces. 
Pisces are really spiritually inclined people. They're very wise people and they know exactly how they feel. They know exactly what they want and they're not afraid to go after it, to admit to what they want. If they don't get what they want, they probably will cry, but at least they know how to purge the energy right away. They release the pain and the suffering and then they move forward sometimes. Cause sometimes they can sit in that release stage and then just be crying all damn day. But y'all definitely deal with y'all emotions on a very mature way. Next is Roger. So Roger really had a very huge glow up as the show progressed. Went from little Roger with the little twisties all the way to Roger with the little S curl. Roger really glowed up on that show. Okay, Marcus Houston. But he was very back and forth. Like one minute he'd be like, oh, T and Tamira, I love you. <laughs> This is the best night of my life. But then they close the door on him. He's like, well, I don't like y'all anyway. And or one minute he be in love with Tia. The next minute he be in love with Tamir. The next minute he be in love with their friend. Like, and he's very witty. Like, he always has something slick to say. Roger was so funny. And very affectionate. Roger really loved Tia and Tamir, bro. He really loved them. And I want a double wedding. <laughs> I chose Roger to be a Gemini. Geminis are really affectionate people. They really love to show you how they feel and love to give you their emotion. A lot of times, not all the time though. And it be with specific people too, because they don't be liking to show they affection to any and everybody. But when they do really care about you, they don't hesitate to show you how they feel. They're very inconsistent people, very back and forth. One minute they wanna be a singer, the next minute they wanna be a rapper, but very quick witted. That's why he had that slick little mouth because Geminis are very quick witted people. It's that airness to them, that sharpness, that's what gives them that quick witted nature and their minds just function like.